Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, December 31st, 2014 by Gaia Blooming. Today is the last day of 2014. Woohoo! See if I can get the 2015 right on tomorrow's horoscope. Anyways, our energy mantra for today is Mama Gaia supports my passion and purpose. And today, beautiful last day of 2014, we have the moon in Taurus still helping us uh, look at our values and our talents so that we can move into an eight year. 2015 is an eight year with high value so we can bring in that prosperity and abundance and currency. So today we start off, well, those of us in the States will probably still be sleeping with the moon and Taurus connecting to Pluto. And so this may illuminate in your dreams you know, that you had, pay attention, did, did, was there anything that came up for you in last night's dreams? Um, I don't know, any part of your personal structure, whether it's your belief structure or the way you think or even just the way you move through the world, um, any of that that is, I don't know, either enhancing or not enhancing your value and how you show up in the world. So look for those lessons. It might, it might be hidden, but it might be obvious. So just you know, replay those dreams. Is there anything relating to my value? Is there anything that could, you know, tune into that? N not just your value, also your talent. And, you know, how do you put them forward in the world? <clears throat> we then have the moon and Taurus connecting to Mars. And this is a square. So this may be, you know, a square can be kind of an uncomfortable aspect. It's just basically like two things, you know, two aspects that want to kind of go the same way, but they have kind of a different agenda. They both want to do it their way. So Mars is an Aquarius, which wants us to be of service. And the moon in Taurus wants us to bring our talents forward. But both of them work together. A lot of times our talents that we have for the world are how we are of service. You know, like one of my talents, <laughs> I understand astrology. It makes sense to me. It's a language I speak. And so this is how I am of service, by working with my talents. So try not to, like, have that little, you know, push-pull tug-of-war thing going on with that. Instead, bring them together. And also looking and see how any of your self-esteem issues hold you back. And if you have any blocks, I just want to recommend Nikki's class really quickly. She's starting the artist way soon. Um, and that can really help you if you're finding that you're blocked from doing what you want to do, doing what you came here to came here to do. We then have at 6.04 p.m. Pacific, so it's 9.04, right before, you know, close to when the New Year switches over, we have the moon in Taurus squaring Jupiter. And so this could be a little block within our hearts. This could be some self-esteem issues that we're holding within our hearts. And again, look at how this is not, you know, moving you forward in your life, how you're not able to fully show up and shine your heart light in your life, and see if there's something that you can do to break through it. Sometimes it just takes the littlest step to break through it. So the final thing that's happening, at least on the West Coast, we have the moon in Taurus trining, which is a very favorable aspect, trining Mercury in Capricorn, and this is at 10.18 p.m. on the West Coast. So this is beautiful. Whether you're on the East Coast and you're setting intentions, it'll be like 1.18. So, you know, first thing in your new year or like the last little aspect that's happening in our new year. But this is amazing for connecting that passion and your values and your purpose all together. It's a great moment for setting, setting intentions looking ahead into the new year, setting your mind in a place that feels good for you, setting your mind in a place where you are wanting to move into, bringing that vibration into you. Your mind is really helpful when it comes to bringing things into your vibration. So be in the moment for that because this is all, you know, in earth. So it's very grounded and in the moment. So that is the astro for today. I have cards today. <clears throat> I remembered. Um, the first card I picked was depression, and I love this because I think this talks about those squares today, you know, but the thing is, this guy with his own mind, his own doing, has tied himself up in knots, but there's still a light shining within, you know, and he's got these little black rain clouds over the top, but, you know, with the rain clouds, they bring the rain, they make the rainbows, we like those, those are good things, 
So it's time to break through your own suppression. And when you can, I pull up the card New Vision. You step into yourself in a new way. You see there's this little figure that's on the ground, and he's bursting free from this suppression and going into your new vision. And i got to say, I always like this card. To me, it looks like an archer taking aim, taking aim at, like, the heavens, the light, the stars, you know, all of that. So put that into use, especially that last aspect, the moon and Mercury coming together. So I hope you have a beautiful New Year's Eve. I hope you have a beautiful last day of 2014. And I will see you tomorrow, next year. Namaste.